So that's a, a very short version of uh, Ganohenya. This is done throughout Haudenosaunee, the territories, up the, well, all of uh, Western New York and up uh, the Mohawks up in uh, <coughs> along the Saint Lawrence and up in Canada. And all these uh, all these these openings are done in all the languages. Uh, and, uh, all through the longhouses, whenever we meet for uh, for uh, Ceremonies for meetings, for small gatherings, for big gatherings. Uh, this is the words that were said. That they say the words before all else. So we start with this, and we uh, acknowledge. First, we acknowledge the people, and then we acknowledge. Uh, <coughs> starting from the ground, we acknowledge all the medicines and and uh, so and the trees and the berries and uh, the, the, the four-legged, the wing, and and uh, the animals in the uh, in the waters, and it's we have a connection with all these things. So they all the so the animals have a leader, the birds have a leader, the fish have a leader, you know, and and the berries and, and the plants and the uh, medicines. So we always put this connection to uh, to these things where, the, where there are relations. So when we as we grow up, we we we. Uh, we get this uh, connection to, to, to the earth and all the things that are around us. So after we uh, kind of know, acknowledge all that, and on these days when we uh, we acknowledge the wind, and uh, we, we thank for the uh, the the, uh, the soft winds, and in this in this in the long version we uh, we acknowledge and talk about we know how how strong the winds can be, and uh, we're seeing that these days, and. Uh, with the strong winds increasing, with with the, with, the, with the climate changing, so we we uh, acknowledge that, ask that we're thankful that we do have these soft winds still yet, and we know how strong they can be. Uh, we acknowledge the waters, you know, and it's uh, here we are at Onondaga Lake, and in some of our prophecies, we I, I was said it was said that one day we won't be able to use some of the water, and right? it would be so. It would be so uh, murky that you couldn't see through it and <clears throat> not be able to use it. So we've been told all these in, in our uh, in our teachings of, of things that are coming. So now we're seeing a lot of these things, uh, not being able to use the water. Here we are in this beautiful lake here, and <clears throat> you know it's empty. Uh, it's where where the, there's there's so much history on this lake that. Uh, it's unbelievable that it, to, to be to be uh, 
looking at this where you can't even use the lake now. Uh, it, the, it's, it's just uh, something that uh, you wouldn't think would ever happen. Uh, we, uh, our history starts here with the, with the Confederacy, and this is where, the, uh, where my title comes from, and it's uh, where we accepted uh, the, uh, the great law of peace. And this is so much history here and how they uh, had to convince the, the first Tadadaho at that time to accept the uh, accept this great law of peace. So it's a very sacred lake to us. There's a lot of history here. Uh, water is sacred. Uh, so we, we really uh, appreciate, you know, what, what we have. But we also understand that there are other things that we don't, that we, uh, for water to become like this is, uh, is basically a crime. Uh, but as we, go, as we go through the waters and we thank the waters and we thank the wind and we thank the birds and everything and we, we ask the, <clears throat> and then we go up into the, the sky world and we thank the thunders, we bring all the rain and the waters and refresh in the earth. We, we thank the sun and the moon for all their duties and, and what we call the four protectors who uh, watch over us. Uh, we thank the stars. and. Uh, we also thank the uh, for protectors on our last message coming from the Creator uh, back 200 and 219, 20 years ago. Uh, we had a leader who brought this message for our people. And how do we keep who we are? Because we know he knew of all the changes that were coming to our people. And most of that was to remember your songs, remember your language, remember your ceremonies and your families and all the things that the Creator has given to us. And that was his last message. And, and pretty much has kept our, our Confederacy and our, our Longhouse going to this day. We, uh, we also, <clears throat> and in the end, uh, towards the end there, we, we thank the Creator himself for, for still sending his love to us every day and every night and giving us a way to, to make things right with him. So we, we're very, uh, our, 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 we grow up learning these things and, then, and it's a different kind of uh, education where we try to respect things and, uh, and we know, un we understand what, where we are today and how do we, how do we continue this teaching and our, and our ways to, our, to the next generations. And that's what it's all about, to preserve the things for the next generations. We, uh, so it's a, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's quite a lot of learning, but it's not, it's not like you're being taught, you're just being talked to every day and you're, everything when you see, when you see, when you go out and pick berries, you understand that the, the strawberries are, are the leader and then they're the first to come out. Uh, the maple tree is the leader. Uh, the deer is the leader. So there's always that connection to uh, uh, family and, and how we, how we uh, relate to each other. So. With this, uh, with all this education that uh, that's been uh, brought to us, we don't think there's. It's been a very good uh, <clears throat> uh, perception of of our, our what what we what we learn as we grow up. So I just like to, uh, with beginning all this uh, this these events that are coming up. Uh, just a good way to start, and uh, it's a good way to start when we have uh, educating people too. When we acknowledge all the things that we have. And I just thank you for uh, listening to me. I'm going to be singing a friendship song. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? 